Hello, Jordan. Um, a late welcome to GRA 220. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you may have uh, made your file in Photoshop rather than Illustrator. I'll take a look at it again. Um, oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's an Illustrator. Forget it. Okay, so I'll jump right to that. Um, okay, so here's what I have. Uh, admirable ingredients, a little Mondrian-like. Uh, you know, I don't know. Might be able to capitalize on that. And uh, I'll show you that artist in a second here. But um, you've also have it structured really nicely. Uh, I can turn things on or off. Uh, I like your silhouette there. And... Now, have you thought about contact information, or have you thought about a slogan? Um, you'll need to have something. In week five, I think we're designing, uh, like, banner slogans in preparation for the web banner. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I'm i not sure. I, I, I like the uh, arrangement uh, of boxes. So I'm trying to turn things on or off here. There we go. But it's a little complicated, and and it doesn't really mean much to me. So, you know, perhaps consider um, deleting the borders, especially around the exterior edge. Uh, regular borders kind of interesting. Uh, ex the exterior edge of the um, magazine page, because uh, it's going to get trimmed, and you know you're going to lose these borders, these thin lines. Uh, either in the trim or the gutter, if the uh, if the magazine is folded, I would consider you know having this uh, interesting silhouette you know jut up maybe into the composition of the page, and um, you know you, you you've got you've been able to import the uh, vector logo, so good job on that. Um, without getting rid of all of them, I don't know I mean, what would it, what would it look be like. Also consider too, you know, varying the opacity uh, of some of your images, and uh, see where is it down here? Transparency. Uh, for example, this this competent mass you've made. Uh, if you lower the, the transparency of it, you know, you you can use it probably a lot larger than you have, and it will create some depth to the page without you know making it. Uh, think in terms of collage, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, but a silhouette like that, a tinted silhouette like that, can be quite large. You know, it's still. Um, let me see if I put this on top. I'm not against the idea of using bars, but uh, on the other hand, I think you know they they should serve a purpose and um, maybe even better if if they're irregularly shaped. You know. Serve a purpose in the sense that they should encompass text, or or serve some you know pretty important visual um, uh, purpose. All right, I'll leave it here. Think about contact information. Take a look at other professionally designed ads.